Hi everyone, my name is Jordan with Rayco Rents. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use ProRay Studios to download data from your Toxiray Pro, a Multiray, or a Qray. If you haven't already done this, uh, the first thing you're going to need to do is get the ProRay Studios installed on your computer, and we do provide a CD for that with every rental. So go ahead, put the CD in the computer, and then it'll prompt you, you know, it'll show up uh, asking if you want to run the install file, and we're going to run that to begin it. So in our situation, we've got a USB flash drive, and this is the application that we want to run. You can see it brings up the install window here. So we're going to get ProRay Studio 2. And then follow the steps for the install here. And we want English. Okay, so now we've got ProRay Studio installing. Once that's finished, we're going to want to install the drivers so that the computer can communicate with these instruments. And that's right here. And actually, it looks like it's doing it automatically. Okay. Now if it doesn't do that, uh, you can go into the drivers and just select them here. Uh, this is the one that you're going to need for these instruments that we're dealing with. And we've got a successful installation. So the drivers are installed, the ProRay Studio is installed. You're all set to actually start, you know, getting these set up and uh, downloading the data. <clears throat> so we can get out of here. And let's open up ProRay Studios. Okay, I guess we have to register here in this situation. So let's just go ahead and fill in some info. Okay. And we're registered. So now we can get in here. Now, this one's important. Um, when you get in here, you want to make sure that you select Administrator. And then it's going to ask you for the password. Now, the password is R-A-E, just lowercase letters. R-A-E, like Ray Systems. So now you're logged in as an administrator. If you're not logged in as an administrator, you won't be able to communicate with the device. There's certain things you won't be able to do. So again, make sure you do that. <clears throat> And it'll come up with this update. Uh, we're not going to do that right now. But, you know, it's best to keep your software updated. Anyway, we're all set now here to actually plug the unit in and get this data downloaded. So for this example, I'll be using a Toxy Ray. Um, but I will show you as well how to get this, uh, you know, just set up to communicate with your computer with the Toxy Ray, the Q Ray, and the Multi Ray. So you want to make sure you turn your Toxy Ray on. Hold down that power button on the left side until it turns on. And mine actually made a loud beeping noise. Sometimes it'll do that. Depends on the settings. And then once you actually place the Toxy Ray in the dock, uh, that's the charger for it. We'll go ahead and plug in that USB. Now the Toxy Ray does need to warm up a bit. It takes about a minute to actually uh, get set and ready to communicate. So I'm going to wait here just a little bit. Okay, now my Toxy Ray is ready to go. So all we need to do uh, to enter communications mode, and again, you need to do this with all three or all of the Ray Systems products. Um, 
you're just going to hit for the taxi ray the power button on the left side and you'll hit that one two three four times and then it'll prompt you it'll say enter communications and stop measurement we're going to hit yes and now we're in communications mode it says communications mode ready let me show you how to put the other instruments into communications mode the process is similar for the Q-Ray and the Multi-Ray. So now we can actually take a look in the software, make sure this is popping up. So if you find this A here, it's got a magnifying glass with an A that'll detect the instruments automatically that are plugged in. And you click it and there it is right here. So we will select that instrument. And then we've got all these options here. So in the Setup tab, you can set up a number of different things. <clears throat> now, we're, we're not going to go over the, the specifics of these, but, you know, again, it's, it's definitely easier to uh, change these settings in the software as opposed to just on the unit itself. So you can change the alarm settings. Uh, you can change the date and time here. User mode, you can change the language, uh, you can change the password on it. And this is the standard for all of our Ray instruments, 0, 0, 0, 0. So, you know, if you're ever changing any settings on the instrument itself, make sure you type in that password. Now, this is what we're concerned about, the data log. <clears throat> so to download the data, all we need to do is click this data log tab and select the download all data button and that one's right over here it kind of looks like three downward pointing arrows just go ahead and click that and now all of our data from this unit is downloaded and you can see some of them have these red zeros on them uh, that basically just means there's no data on there. So, um, you know, it, it recorded some, some time, but there weren't any actual data log points on there. So these are uh, almost pointless. You can see this, this was uh, 20 seconds, you know, not much time there. If we go into this one, this one ran for a few minutes. It had two records on it. Okay, so now let's just look at how we can actually download this data. So we have it downloaded into the software. Now if you want to actually download it to, you know, save on your computer or send to somebody else, we need to export this data. So, let's say we want to download this one. Now you can also, if you hit control, if you hold down the control button on your keyboard and then select, you can select more, more than one at a time. Now in this case, we'll just do one. So we're going to right click and we want to export this data. So we've downloaded it from the instrument and we want to export it, get it into just our documents on the computer. So we'll click export selected. And then it gives you a couple of options here. Um, you know, you can save it wherever you want. If you've got some specific folder in here for your data from these tests, you know, go ahead and select that. Um, and you can rename it. So I'll just name this one Reiko Rents Test Data. And we'll put that into our Documents folder. 
and you can save it, there's two options, as a .dxt or a .csv. And once you do that, we'll save this as a .txt file. And now I should have some data in my documents. There it is. Now there's also one other thing we can do here. We can save all of this data as a PRS file, and that's a ProRay Studios file. So it's um, basically you can pull this, pull up this file in ProRay Studios at any time. And the way to do that, we're going to select File from the top left hand corner up here, and then we're going to select Save As. and you can see it'll automatically save it as a PRS file. And again, we could just type in Rico runs test data two. Now, once we have that saved in our documents, if we open up ProRay Studios, again, we'll log in as an administrator. Now from here, you can actually open up those PRS files that you've got saved. So once I get this out of here, so you'll click File and then Open, and it'll find any PRS files. And in this case, that would be this one. So we'll open that up, and then we'll see all these reports. And there it is. And that is uh, everything I can show you for downloading data on ProRay Studios. And again, you know, it would be the same with, with a Toxy Ray or a Multi Ray or with a Q Ray. You know, you detect the instrument and your Multi Ray or your Q Ray would pop up here and then you just go through the same steps. Thanks for watching our video on the ProRay Studios. If you have any other questions, feel free to call us at 866-736-8347. We can help you out with any other rental needs you might have. You can also check out our website at raycorents.com and you can look at our training center for any other videos or information on our products. Thanks for watching.